What's up guys, me how tech test tutorials. Now here are five things you are probably doing wrong if you are having a hard time uh, with virtualization under Freenas uh, under BI. Problem number one. You are probably using wrong ISO. So for most of the time I will leave a link with a detailed uh, explanation down in a comment in the description of this video but for the most time the 32 bits uh, ISOs are not supported so if you would like to have a Windows take a 64-bit uh, version Windows 10 works just fine uh, I haven't tried Windows 7 or 8 but 64-bit version should work also now there were some uh, some some Linux distribution that I had problems with I couldn't get to run like Fedora 27 uh, but for example uh, Red Hat with GNOME no, no no problem whatsoever so uh, best Google it uh, as I said Red Hat uh, without any problems I have seen people installing Ubuntu just Google it which versions uh, work under BI because not all of them do and just try to skip the 32 bits and that's basically it that's the problem number one problem number two that people are having very often is uh, you have installed your Windows 10 and it's crazy unstable so as soon as you are trying to copy some files uh, to copy the data this machine will either crash or will just hang or both the performance of the network card will be just terrible and as you might expect it this is actually related to the drivers now most probably you have chose using Intel E1000 virtual NIC uh, which is uh, uh, which is the card that is I guess it's default uh, and that's the wrong one to use you should eat a separate second uh, network card that is described as virt.io and you should use those Debian drivers for Virch.io so now if you are using Proxmox or something like that you will be familiar with this driver uh, again I will link it down in a comment section below just don't use the Intel one take Virch.io drivers uh, in, a, in, a, in this video description just uh, just uh, above that uh, just below that like button so that you should smash also so use the drivers click the like button that was issue number two the issue number three uh, some people are having this uh, if you are you have let's say you have your virtual machine set it up it's all working great you try to use a mouse uh, and you are connected with a VNC via web so you just clicked and connect to this machine you are not using tight VNC or real VNC or any any software like that and you just can't move the mouse most probably it's because you have a touch enabled screen on your laptop it will happen most of the time uh, on your laptop and it will actually detect the primary input mouse input device as your touch screen and not not your touchpad so it will react to touch you can see it if that happens well I guess there are some solutions that you could install but uh, the simple the, the, the most by far the most effective way is just use tight VNC or real VNC or if you are under Linux uh, any other software and don't use that that link, uh, that link connect via browser directly from Chrome or, uh, or web browser and you will be fine now the most common problem number four is you are trying to boot uh, either the ISO or directly to your Linux machine and you see this screen so if you see that uh, most people freak out say well it didn't boot it's something wrong I don't really have time I don't want to be bothered but uh, it's like a BIOS uh, only for the virtual machine you just need to type exit and do the stuff that I have done and you will be perfectly good to go so uh, don't be scared about that BIOS booting thing uh, at start on uh, on the either during the installation on or uh, your install already installed uh, Linux virtual machine it will be very easy to correct that so that was issue number four issue number number five 
you are trying to do everything as I told you. Uh, you might have been even googling for a longer time and you can't get uh, no nothing is working simply you can just put the machine well chances uh, are that you have to, you have very old CPU or, or some kind of obscure CPU that I can't even think a model right now or a bigger chance is that uh, the virtualization features are disabled in a, in a BIOS and that's gonna be different for each motherboard uh, sometimes it is off by the default so uh, most of the time what you do is you just run shell or you just have to SSH uh, to the machine and most of the Linux guys will do CPU LS command to see what kind of features are enabled uh, you won't have any luck under FreeBSD, especially in FreeNAS. So I will uh, link a comment down in the comment section below, again uh, in a video description, so you could copy and paste this command that will show uh, all enable features on your CPU. Definitely you can go to Intel Arc and read about if your uh, CPU supports this, but most of the CPU from the era, from let's say like 10 years ago, uh, most of them, even the dual core Pentiums from like Haswell times or Ivy Bridge, uh, Ivy Bridge times, they all support virtualization. So on top of my head, I can't say which processor won't. Most of the time it will be disabled uh, in the BIOS. So just, just use the command, uh, see what features are enabled. If, if they are, uh, go to Intel Arc, check uh, if your processor support this, if not, you are out of luck. If it supports, go to the motherboard settings BIOS and make sure that you have all those virtualization features uh, enabled and you will be good to go. So that was the problem number five. I am. I hope that you will have a good time with uh, FreeNAS virtualization because it's really great. It allows you to have storage and virtualization server at home to do crazy stuff with uh, with virtual machines and it's really handy so there is no reason why you uh, wouldn't do that so i hope uh, you have a good time with that hope this video helped if that was the case uh, definitely uh, hit that like button uh, leave me a comment uh, if you if you know how to improve some things i have said or you have other solution or more deliberate solutions how to improve the, the to solve the problems that i have talked right now so definitely leave leave some 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 comments down in the comment section below subscribe for more videos like it and see you again bye